Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're gonna do a little guide about the generals and the admirals also. About how they level up their skills and all revolving, revolving it. So let's get started. First through this icon, Officer Corps. Uh, you can access your generals or admirals. Also, the, beside generals you have in this category officers, which can be promoted to generals. So let's start there. When you open here. So this is basically in this division, this is the leader of division, this is how much experience he has and these are various medals he got for the, as you can see, awarded for the action in Bukurest or whatever and every medal will allow, uh, give him certain bonuses uh, which will you, you will uh, de decide between four uh, medals. Let's see, okay, so here is the guy. So we pick, let's say this, uh, different countries have different bonuses here and it costs some uh, political power here. <clears throat> also as you can see here he has a bunch of medals, so every next medal I add won't add 10% but will add less. Uh, let's see what it is. Now uh, after any of these guys uh, goes over 400 experience uh, you can promote him to general freely and he will get as you can see here he'll become infantry engineer officer or he can become in some cases cavalry or even armor officer now once we have promoted some general let's promote someone this guy looks good. I think I have one promoted just let me see Okay, I have promoted one guy. <clears throat> so, this guy was promoted. As you can see here. Now, this is only for decoration at the moment, but he received the engineer officer. Now, this comes, this skills here, first uh, few, come in a uh, few shapes. Now, you can have uh, like armor, cavalry, or infantry officer which means that uh, through training or combat they will receive uh, their in this case his armor units will receive much more experience same goes for infantry but there are some skills like you will see here war hero uh, politically connected and so on which don't uh, influence combat directly uh, and there are skills like uh, let me show you Let's find some better commander here like him, he has brilliant strategies too, he has excellent skill. Now, generals come uh, as the regular generals, or they can be promoted to field marshal. Now, the difference is in the following thing. Here is your general and his stats. This is the main thing you want to, every time he fills the scale, he will receive one level and one skill to pick. This line of skills, now this is important, this line of skills doesn't mean uh, you cannot uh, buy it with experience, you have to earn it, so let's say I want him to be Panzer leader uh, to get this skill. Uh, he has to... Uh, okay, he is full of medals, he's not a good example, let's find someone who has less medals. Okay, as you can see. Now I want to make him Panzer leader, so uh, besides uh, him he must accumulate, uh, as you can see, 700 experience while having uh, armor ratio. So he has to have 40 or more percent in his army of the tanks in order to gain this skill. Or if you're chasing infantry, you must have 80 or plus percent infantry. Now, these skills, as I said, you have to find them, uh, farm them in combat. So as you can see, he has this one. But this next category, you will be able to buy. So with every level you will get one, uh, let's say, perk and you can use it to buy it. So now let's say I have free perk for him, I can buy this or I can save this perk in the next one and when he opens I can buy something here. As you can see here, this is only when he becomes field marshal, you can pick these things. As you can see uh, down there. Uh, it unlocks certain things in the army pla uh, planning, you will see, it. it is the next category. 
and these are uh, same these traits must be earned so when he's fighting in combat or whatever so let's get back to him he's better example so as you can see here he has achieved the hill fighter mountaineer but for this he still needs experience in this category and he will receive as you can see in urban environment uh, his army will receive plus to the movement attack and defense these two must be bought with the points three points now uh, let me show you one excellent uh, perk so this is one of the best ones in the game in my opinion because some parts of the map are horrible and you will this will get push you through also this thing will you as you can see here unlocks ability extra supplies so once in i think every 20 or 30 days because of that skill i have this little button here and when i push it i'm spending command point power okay whatever for it and when i push it i will have uh, for everyone in his army i will have for next uh, 168 hours extra supplies so this is very very good skill here you can uh, you can activate uh, for your general skills so he will do it on the army scale not for everybody now let's get back after we are past all of this here you will have every let's say trait or background trait whatever he has also he is an armor genius this is something exclusive to him very few uh, generals are genius usually comes one per card tree and here is his preferred tactic so you can open here and you can choose uh, whether you are attacking or defending so he will apply this if he can and uh, use it mainly next thing is here so this generally here all is connected to the following so you can get only one of these things maybe two but it is connected to here as you can see here is our military staff so he's included in the military staff and his skill will allow everybody everybody we have in any army to have plus uh, to 15 percent to armor and defense so if you're missing here something for the infantry or tanks or whatever you want you can just uh, pump up some general get him uh, right skills just let's take some general so get him right skills here then open here as you can see here he has two specialities and uh, you can just uh, unlock him in the country so this is as far as it goes for the officers and the generals now let's move up to the admirals uh, generally same principle applies for them this category here you have to earn it through the combat these categories here you have to buy it so there is no fear martial category here all of this can be bought but also this is something you will earn same goes for this so you will need certain traits from here or from here in order to open some of these things after that you can unlock it uh, his uh, stats work the same as you can see here he has a special ability he's a submarine specialist besides everything they can have few special things uh, here goes uh, his attack the higher the level the higher the attack defense maneuvering and coordination stats will rise for him same goes for any general so let me show you uh, okay i forgot here if you ho hover over this you can see how much he has uh, gained and how much he is missing so he this guy is missing like four percent to become infantry leader and uh, after let's say a few more days of combat or weeks whatever uh, he will get this trait but now i wanted to show you something else so let's hover over this guy he's uh, skill six so he has you see how many buffs now let's move to someone who has lesser skill he has skill four now some of these skills are from perks but not all the higher the level the more he will starts to rise same goes for the experience in the divisions as you can see this division at the uh, third experience level regular has 25 percent uh bonus but let's say some higher 
this one seasoned has 50 and this one is veteran it has 75 uh, modifier so basically that that is all you need to know about the generals in every di division you can change your general very easily you can just uh, change him from his picture and put someone else inside of him it takes few days for them to settle and move around so this is basically all you need to know about the generals and admirals hope you had fun so like share and subscribe see you all soon have fun